Hey there, my name is Provis, and welcome back to more Rebel Ink Escalation Custom Scenarios. Found a couple scenarios I want to give a shot, including one called... Where are you? I found it. There it is, Operation Barbarossa by Andreeski. I don't know how you pronounce that, but I hope I got it close. From the German point of view, Operation Barbarossa was an invasion of the Soviet Union conducted between 1941 and 1945, which saw the Germans defeated by the Soviets. Never fight the Russians in their own turf, especially during winter. That is a lesson you should be learning here. This time, you'll be put in the shoes of the High Command to guide the Germans to victory of the Soviets or defeat. A few things need to be noted, though. Uh, let's see. 100,000 reputation? My god! Apparently, you actually lose a ridiculous amount of reputation from occupied territory. Yeah, but you're giving me six figures? I didn't even know that was possible. God, that terrifies me. All right, my goal is to invade the Soviet Union. Sounds good. Just like Hoi 4, I can handle that. Please point out any mistakes. Okay, well, I will probably do so. We're playing as the general. Probably a German general. That's fine. We'll have the doctor, tribal elder, celebrity, tax collector, chef, and logistics expert. Do we actually need to win over the population of the Soviets? I guess for an occupation force and stuff, that would make a little sense. Now, wouldn't it? Maybe? Oh, God. All right, we are apparently in Eastern Europe. The German High Command has declared Stalin a communistic parasite. You must enter and occupy the Soviet Union, then stabilize the region. All right, so uh, the rapid loss in Moscow from making you lose instantly that you can still lose if you take too long. Good to know. All right, where do we set up our HQ? Well, there aren't very many options, are there? We'll set up over here so we can defend both of these urban areas on the off chance it makes a difference. Well, God. Okay, first off, my volume is way too high, but there we go. Insurgent camp has been discovered. We've launched the coordinates. Okay, there's also a whole bunch of question marks everywhere, and I can see Soviets running all over the hills. Great, okay. I do have a couple of control points. So this is definitely going to be a militaristic scenario. Control all these control points, and you're going to win. So we got to find the victory points. This is just like Hoi 4. Love it. Also, remember with the general, we start with three garrisons now instead of one. So basically every single entry point into my territory is reinforced in some way or another. Civilian, military occupation. The Soviets are not particularly happy about being occupied by <clears throat> a dictatorship hell-bent on extermination of them. <clears throat> but because we are occupying them, we can use them for labor projects and provide stability under a fascist regime. Oh, that sounds good. For government, we have cut down on corruption. With massive operations like this one, corruption is guaranteed to sprout, so we must play whack-a-mole. Whack a Mo, sorry. We don't like that guy named Mo. We gotta whack him on the head. Until the corrupt officials are caught. There's also an outreach center and the Axis powers. We need Axis collaboration. Call in the allies! Not, not those allies. Romanian garrisons and Polish garrisons also call in the military. We know that only the Romanian and Polish garrisons are not enough to topple the Soviet Union. I agree. If we bring our professional military forces, all we need to do is kick the door of the rotten structure and we'll all come tumbling down. Totally on board with all that. Let's go ahead and bring in the Munich and the Berlin garrisons. We could also bring in some Panzers. That would be fun. Um, cut down corruption. We'll probably come back to some of this. So let's go ahead and go for the military occupation that leads to relief efforts. Uh, stabilize the region. Things communism has failed to provide sufficiently. <laughs> military occupation force. Prevent uprising and enemy opposition to form any sufficient force. Okay. Lowers enemy support in a lot of zones. Lowers our support as well. A bit risky, but okay. Functions like police. Purge the political opponents for tax evasion and all forms of fraud. All right, they'll be disappeared. And then labor projects. Damage the support, but boosts repair and stability. So most of the harsh measures that I can take against the Soviets apparently are going to peeve people off. Got it. Let's get down over here and make a push toward a victory point. I'm assuming that's what this is, but it is going to be some sort of insurgent base. Oh my God, they reinforce like crazy. Okay. Well, that's going to be fun. The Wehrmacht. Oh, good. Okay, the armed forces of Germany will make a lot of national units. Uh-huh. Well, um, by clicking this, do I accidentally, like, start training up new ones and slow down all of them? I'm a little bit wary of that. Let's go for things like the relief efforts. That could lead to things like water, reconstruction, and then hospitals. All of which would make some sense. Um, boost repair and stability. It does What do you mean by boost repair? Purge the political opponents. I'm looking for something that's going to help actually, like, boost up my support level a meaningful amount. Purging political opponents could help with that, but I might need more military units. Let's get the Axis powers. That's going to lead to invite Italy into the war. Invite Japan into the war. Uh, opening a path. Non-aggression with the Soviets cancels this path. I don't know what that means. Invite Hungary and Romania into the war. And then there's the Axis economic integration requesting aid. You know what? Give me money so I can field more units, please, and thank you. 
All right, people are angry in Minsk. Oh, they actually rename everything based on the uh, borders? Okay, let's see. We got Warsaw over Mjall. Krakow over there. Lublin, Lutsk, Bryansk, Minsk. What else we got over here? That's Moscow. And then there's Spur. So this is supposed to represent basically the entire stretch from Poland to Russia and Moscow. Oh, that's kind of an interesting way of actually trying to do this. I mean, yeah, you're obviously limited by the map. Like, you can't only do so much. But okay, think of this actually like a front line in Hoi 4, and that's kind of what we've got going on here. I appreciate it. Let's go for it. Um, we're going to try to get some stability in these regions. I certainly would like to get some intel before I go too far. Let's cut down on corruption. Let's get the... What do we got here? Enigma code. Uh, let's see. Attempt to understand our military agenda will go in vain once we encode an undecipherable language. What does that mean? Anti-corruption task force. Yeah, yeah, yeah. An outreach center. No idea what it does. Let's just get some basic initiatives to try and make people like me a little bit. Insurgents reported in a few places. Yeah, understood. Um, we should probably go ahead and try to move forward little bit by little bit. Certainly try to keep these guys out of the mountains. There are insurgents running around, but I don't know where they are. I'm a little bit wary of pushing too far, because once I start retaking zones, I'm going to find it very difficult to deal with all of this. Uh, wow. Yeah, okay. Moscow is losing reputation very quickly. 100,000 might end up being generous, or it may not be nowhere near enough. No idea. Um... Um, 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 let's go for the outreach center. What does that lead to? Romanian occupation. Operations to stabilize the region will be undertaken. Soviet occupation and Polish. Well, probably Poland and Romania, since that's currently what I've got occupied, I guess. We're just waiting for more troops. I kind of am wondering if this is going to train them faster. Let's do it. Okay, does not start training new units. That's good. We're still stronger than what the Russians are sending after us. I didn't even look at all the modifiers. Hang on. The MEFO bills, stable source of income, relying less on reputation income factor. Well, that's sad, because I got a ridiculous amount of reputation. Professional army, lots of research around it. Okay, Axis, troops to pull from. Cool, totalitarian regime. Support is hard to achieve in the face of genocide. You don't say. Bad infrastructure. The Soviet infrastructure sucks. Duly noted. Scorched earth. While retreating, the Soviets will leave infra infrastructure destroyed. Meaning movement is slow. Okay, so we're not going to be able to just rush across the map. That's unfortunate. Soviets have almost three times our manual power, and they will utilize it. The Great Patriotic War. Okay, and Stalin put every man in between him and the Axis. And then finally, Stalin has declared not one step back. They will not retreat, which is probably why they all died just now. That actually probably works more to my advantage than anything else. Military Academy. Might be necessary if this war dra drags on. New tank models and infantry equipment. Okay. Hasten soldier recruitment. Um, yeah, but then it reduces soldier strength. I don't think I need that right now. Mild conscription. Running out of available manpower is an issue, and we need more infantry and military units to be able to see the light at the end of the tunnel. The Soviets are stronger than expected. All right. Grant more units. Damage his reputation. Well, I can enlist a bunch more Germans already. Uh, new generals, the Luftwaffe, um, and Hermann Goring. Okay, so a couple of generals to try and boost up our strength. I like that uh, generals are going to be considered to be, like, the way that we're enforcing more military power. I like that idea a lot. So let's try moving you guys here, you guys here, you guys here. Okay. Charities are prepared to help. I am going to allow for limited... No, funding... Yeah, divert funds to me directly, please, because I might need to uh, not buy initiatives, but instead get more military things. So the Luftwaffe makes sense. Uh, what else do we want? Let's think about that. We got pro-German governors. Mm -hmm. Soviet occupations. Mm -hmm. I don't know what Enigma Code does. Let's get the labor projects. Polish labor, save money, decrease the support. Also Romanian labor, same deal. Yeah, being a totalitarian is a little bit a little bit difficult to work with. Um, I think we should just save our money for more military units, if I'm honest. I could really use a lot more intel in a lot of these things, though. That would help. All right, so these guys are all going to die. Then these guys are probably going to die. They can't go anywhere. That's taken care of. Perfect. All right, so we're making solid pushes there. If I can get up over here, that could be pretty good. Let's see if I can get in here with this and see if that works. I'm going to hold on to this ground. And then once I narrow the combat width to only two, it should be easy to run forward. Then I've narrowed this down to only one. I can park some troops here and start opening up another offensive. Yeah, 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 yeah. I like the way that this is making me think. More anti-corruption? Mm, could be fun, but instead I'm going to go ahead and start training up some additional units. I want to have more bodies, more boots on the ground. On the ground. Uh, let's go ahead and train another one. There we go. 
They are training a bit faster, I'll give them that much, for sure. Um, trying to reinforce, really would wish I could reinforce while attacking, not able to do that at the moment. Okay, over here's a bit of a problem, we need to get some reinforcements in position, but now that we've taken this, should be easy. Okay, so these guys are gonna go nowhere. The fact that they don't retreat is actually gonna make this a lot easier. I appreciate it. Let's move you here, move you here. Okay, so this should be taken care of. We just need some reinforcements. Win this fight easily, then pull back. Perfect, perfect. Reinforce. There we go. Okay, now, uh, do we have more reinforcements over here? No. Move you here, move you here, move you. Let's say up over here for now. Should be okay. We're gonna be able to hold on to all of this. Let's get some soldiers up over here. We're gonna fight in the mountains and try to get as many reinforcements going as possible. Doesn't seem to be working as much as I want it to. Okay, hang on. We need generals, please. Okay, also, you know what? Panza. Let's go ahead and do that. I'm gonna attach it right here. We're gonna clear out these roads, no problem. Also reinforcements over here. There we go, there we go. Tank's gonna do their thing. Uh-oh. Wait a minute, we need to get some more reinforcements over here instead. Ah, no, 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 don't die, don't die! I need you to stay in place! Hang on, hang on, hang on, hang on, hang on. Get some reinforcements, don't die on me, no! All right, it's fine, we got money, fund some recruitments. You guys shall uh, take a little while to get back, that sucks. Oh well, not a huge deal. There we go, there we go, oh my god, now I'm losing a lot of reputation, frick me. Oh boy, it's real coming down now. All right, what else we got? Um, we really need to get our corruption down, so let's go for the anti-corruption task force. Arrest communist advocates. Hmm, sounds good. Let's establish some pro-German governors in a couple different strategic locations. We should be able to get this. Are we getting zero intel here for some reason? Sure seems that way. Why are we getting zero intel? I don't know. Uh, can I do foreign relations office? I don't think so. So we're probably gonna have to do counter-strikes, unfortunately. I would like to invite other people into the wars. I don't know what Enigma Code does, so I'm gonna try it and see if that gives me some sort of a combat advantage. It might or it might not. Okay, see what happens with this. Increase the pay of our German conscripts. That'll be very helpful, actually. Yeah, we're losing a lot of reputation. I'm gonna, I'm gonna try not to worry about it too much. All right, gonna try not to worry, but I'm not sure. Maybe it's, maybe I need to worry a little bit. Let's try to contest these guys a little bit over here. What happened to my, like, airstrikes? Nothing's happening. Secure the sky for strong fighter formations, allowing for bombers, boosting infantry effectiveness. Sounds like we're not getting airstrikes and it's just a combat boost. Maybe? I don't know. Um, I'm gonna try to attack up over here as well. And I'm gonna hold on to the coalition units for a minute, whoop. Go ahead and try to fight these guys back. That should be easy. Just need to win a couple of good fights over here. This should be fine. We can win this, right? Oh God, maybe not. Um, basic bombing runs. Also dive bombers. I'm just trying to get more national soldier strength at this point. I want these guys to make sure they win fights, which we should be able to do. There we go, that helps. Okay, so we take care of that. Then we are gonna have to do another counter strike, unfortunately. Move you here and you here. Eh? I think. Let's get some reinforcements down over here. We really need to get into Moscow. Okay, I don't want the... Oh, no, I have to send them home. Uh-oh. All right, this actually changes things. If we can't keep our coalition troops, we're going to be in a lot of trouble. I have got to invite some people into the war and get some additional coalition troops, or we might have a problem here. So we're going to invite Italy into the war. We're going to try to win some of these fights. Please win this. Oh, my God, we're going to lose a unit again. Gosh dang it. I guess I could fund warlords. It only costs reputation. That doesn't cost me much of anything, really. Oh, there's a cave. Right. Uh, if I don't get more units, I don't know how we're going to win this. I need to save up 11 bucks. Maybe I should have just picked one front and gone for it. You think? How many more military units can I get? I can get two more. To be honest, that's not as many as I might have hoped. But, okay. Let's, uh, let's clear these guys out again before they can retake this zone. Gosh dang it, stop spawning in the same place. You annoying little boogers. Okay, get that all cleared out. Get this all cleared out as well. So the man, the Soviets have the manpower for sure. We knew that was gonna happen. We can surround these mountains and that's gonna make things a little easier. Let's go ahead and get some more units. What's this? Gosh dang it, more counter-strikes? All right, it makes sense though is the thing. Thematically, it makes sense. I gotta do all these counter-strikes. You call it diplomatic reputation. I'll call it literally anything else. Um, K, 
Okay, hang on. Uh, are we gonna be able to win this fight as is? It would help if we popped in here and cut off some reinforcements. Make yeah, sure that these guys are able to help. Push you down here, hold these guys back a little bit. Oh boy, are we gonna be able to win that? Should be able to, but let's pull back some reinforcements to make sure. We're gonna clear out these mountains, excellent. Okay, so that helps. Now we are going to push forward. Nah, we need to stay here and continue reinforcing. I need to get intel and actually help fight win these fights. More coalition soldiers could be useful. We'll just train them up really fast. Yes, this guy wants to leave. We need to make sure we win this fight first if possible, though. I can't tell I can't tell if he's about to win this fight or not. He hasn't. Dang it. Alright, we gotta send you home then. Didn't quite win that fight. Got close, but didn't quite win it. Any more reinforcements over here so we don't lose? Come on! All right, hang on, hang on. Uh, conscription? More soldiers? Gosh, I'm gonna need so many to make this work. This is gonna be a little bit tricky. Come on, you can win this fight. You can win this fight. <sighs> Come on, win this fight. Got it. You here, you here, you here. Clear these guys out real quick. Another counter-strike, my god. Yeah, uh, I'm guessing the allies might be providing a bit of support or something, you think? Maybe. Oh gosh, they're swarming hard. There's a lot of insurgents. Well, this is actually pretty fun so far, though. I'm not gonna lie. Like, this scenario so far is like, it's kind of doing it for me. A little bit, just a little bit, kind of doing it for me. Gosh dang it. Okay, we need uh, more reinforcements. We'll use the roads to travel fast. Come on, don't lose this. Oh my god, you're gonna, freaking heck. All right, recruit militia. You guys are getting really irritating here. Yes, 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 I know. We're going through the reputation way faster than I thought we were going to. Continue training, and let's go ahead and hasten the soldier recruitments. I'm going to need them fast. We need reinforcements. Come on! Holy crap! How much strength have you sent my way? Okay, 40, 86 strength. I can get some reinforcements and hope that this does enough, but man, you guys! Wow! All right, if we pop up over here, I need to get back into a position where I can create a good, effective chokehold. And then we'll hold on to that as long as we can. The counter-strikes are wasting my money more than anything else. That's part of what's killing me here. Okay, we're gonna take care of the Come on. Come on. Wish we could set up some garrisons. That would be nice. Uh, better bombers? Escalate the bombs? Sure. More strength. I need all of it. They, they had a cave over here, so apparently we weren't able to finish these guys off. Let's see if we can finish that now. More over here, apparently. Okay. Come on, reinforce this. Reinforce this. You can win it. I know you can. I believe in you. I believe, I believe, I believe! Need reinforcements over here. Again. How strong are you guys? No intel at all. Alright. Uh, what's this? Bomb innovations. Sure, I don't care. Whatever it takes. Just get it. Okay, clearing that out. Get rid of these caves. Get rid of the caves. Come on, you can win this. Got him! Alright. You move here. You move here. Whew. All right, another Counter-Strike. They keep getting expensive. At some point, we're just going to have to accept the uh, accusations are going to backfire and just kind of let that be that. We're going to move you here and you here. And then once we clear this out, we'll try to attack these mountains as well. I just want to make sure we've got reinforcements going. Gosh dang it. Get over here. Okay, they're trying to attack me in a couple spots. It ain't going to go well for them. Come on, reinforce, reinforce. Uh, we are going to relax the rules. I don't care if there are any casualties. That is fine. The support level continues to be terrible. Military Academy, I think we're just going to go ahead and have to do it. Uh, Brown? Rocket Scientists. Hmm, okay. MG42s, boost success. Better rifles, better panzers, and artillery support. Yeah, these are all things I probably needed a while ago, and I'm going to be happy I have them. For sure. Um, all right. Now we're going to try to move you up here. And we're going to see if we can try, try to cut off some more reinforcements. I'm not really winning hearts and minds at all, but I'm kind of okay with it. Uh, let us go for... Let's go for some, some MG42s, and then maybe after that some artillery strikes or something. Oh, there we go. There we go. That helps. All right, we cleared out a cave. We can move forward here. Perfect. I want to get that oil derrick for sure. And then... I guess we'll just move you here. The problem with this position is it's going to be hard to reinforce it. So we can't do a lot over there. I have to send uh, some coalition troops home, unfortunately. All the more reason we need to get these German conscripts up and a-running. So this will get cleared out. No prob. Then we move you here. Then we move you 
here, and we're gonna continue the push. We're not done, we're not done at all. I'm down to like 60,000 or so, but it's fine. The troops are escaping. Uh, move you here. I can't do anything here until I can get some more reinforcements. This may, this may not be a good idea. Let's go for rifle innovations and brown, and then we can have submachine guns, panzers, and rockets and stuff. The good news is, once we have secured some grounds, we're able to move pretty effectively. Alright, I have to send you guys home. So we're just going to reinforce with two national soldiers and ignore the oil derrick. That was kind of a waste. I'm going to publicly accuse, but it does me zero good. We're going to have to fund a recruitment for a soldier that apparently died because I wasn't paying attention. Okay. Um, dare I try to attack again? I kind of have to be able to win from this fight. We're still not strong enough. I've got to win this ground, though, because this is about as good as it's going to get. I mean, getting some intel here will certainly help. So let's get a little bit more strength. What else we got? So the rockets, uh, inaccurate. Mm. Panzers, mm. artillery. I kind of want artillery, probably. Or maybe the submachine gun, but something along those lines is what I'm shooting for. How about the submachine gun? How much strength we got? No idea. Uh, all right, this isn't working. Back up. We're losing a bit of reputation because it's taking me too long. I'm losing 124 per tick. Gosh dang it, I can't get enough money. Legit, I cannot seem to get enough money to make this work. Okay, okay, okay. Um, 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 um. If I don't get more soldiers, we're going to be in trouble. I can't invite Japan. That's all the coalition troops I'm getting. I can get a little bit more strength, but that's kind of it. This is about as strong as these guys are going to get, which is not enough. Oh my gosh, and I have to keep publicly accusing, but that ain't going to work. My only hope is maybe I have to push even further forward and try to hit from several directions and prevent more reinforcements. Like that. We just prevented these guys from reinforcing. So these guys are going to fall apart, hopefully. Gosh dang it, it's not enough. How can it still not be enough? Panzers. Rockets. Ideals. I don't care anything. Airstrike. Hit him. Oh my god, it ain't enough. Wait, maybe it is. Hold on. Yes, I know. They're getting this over here. It's a problem. Hang on. I need to win this fight. Got it. Okay, that's huge. Move you here. Move you here for reinforcements. Let's save the city. Airstrike it. Boom. Okay, that helps. Whole gay. Okay, okay. Airstrikes are going to make the difference. There we go. Rocket guidance systems. I like that. Also, V2 rockets. Decrease the stri uh, airstrike timer, but increases damage. Well, that both sounds good. Uh, tiger divisions. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. That sounds nice. Okay, we're going to win this fight. Got it. That's huge. All right. Publicly accuse again, because I don't have a choice. Okay, we're going to move that forward. Then move you forward. We're losing 142 per tick. We need to clear out these guys over here. I need to start circling around, or we need to make a direct push to Moscow. I don't care which. Better yet, uh, maybe we can now actually push over here to the oil derrick and stop them from getting so much money. That seems good. Cleared that out. Good. Uh, I lost a soldier. Dang it. Ugh. Okay, 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 okay. No, no, no. It's fine. Okay, we cleared this out. That's huge. Um, I, I can't move into Moscow yet, but I can use airstrikes over here to win this. We're losing so much reputation right now. Now yeah, we'll hold on to the airstrikes for a second. Now oh, they got the cave back. Okay, airstrike it. That did a lot of damage. That did a lot of damage. All right, they're going to cut support. Huge, huge. All right, we cleared that out. Excellent. Move you back. These guys are trying to make their push. We can probably get closer to Moscow at this point. Do I dare? Oh my gosh, stop popping up everywhere. I do dare. I really want to get in there. It would help if I could get more units. But all right, we're now losing way too much protect to wait. Uh, rocket guidance systems would be probably great. And then we have panzer divisions for another tank. And then we have tiger divisions. Let's do that. I'm just going for as much raw strength as possible. Okay, we're fighting. Airstrike it. Go boom. That kills so many of them. Huge. Huge. I'm not going to apologize to the Russians. <laughs> no way. All right, I think we took Moscow. Yes, we've got Moscow. We can finally clear this stuff out and they're going to stop training as much. Okay, but now they're popping up everywhere. I would really like more units. So let's start training up more. Uh, public EQs again. Okay, but we're not going to be losing anywhere near as much reputation. So we've stabilized a little bit. Get that. 
and then push you here, and let's see if we can take these guys out. Airstrike, boom. Huge. All right, you cleared this out. There we go, there we go, there we go. All right, bring you back up over here so we can start pushing into the mountains. No, no, don't apologize. Okay, still losing a fair bit of reputation, but it's not nearly as bad as it was. I think we can make a push around the side here, so that's where we're gonna go next, and then you're gonna go up over Mia. Okay, okay, uh, women's rights, uh, the Germans agree! Full reform for women! Um, what's this? More? Uh, I don't know if we need more conscription law. What else we got here? Regional census. Man, I wish I had that earlier. Uh, reconstruction. You know, I have ignored the people for a while. Let's go deal with this. Okay, we should be able to win this. Airstrike will certainly help. Rocket strike goes boom, baby. Oh, not enough. Uh-oh. Uh, well, maybe enough. Ah, uh, no, not over here. Hang on. Pull back. I don't want to lose you. Okay, counter strike again. I need more rocket strikes. You move here, more reinforcements. Dang it all, freaking! Mm. Stop spawning behind my front lines, you dang Russians! Come on, if we can get this, that's gonna be pretty big. Got it, all right, that's big. Then we push you forward, and we push you forward, and we're gonna have lots of reinforcements all helping each other out. And then they're gonna be stuck in a little pocket. Let's get this all under control. Keep an eye on these fights, see who's winning, who's losing. Okay, you're losing, so we hit this. There we go, there we go, there we go. Good, good, good. Hear that, move you. Move you. This all gets clear. We are now reinforcing really heavily over here. Oh my gosh, this is gonna be a long video. I apologize, but I think at this point we've more or less got it under control. Uh, I don't need more panzers, but bomb innovations could be nice. Let's also go for more pro-German governors in a few different places. Collaboration governments and stuff, you know? They're supposed to be pretty good. We can push you across here. It's a bit risky, but if we do that and then move you here, I think we can stop these guys from going anywhere. And then with airstrikes... Oh, dang it, not Moscow. Uh, move you. Okay, I should not have risked this. They're t taking Moscow back is a big deal. Airstrike it. Okay, huge. Win this fight quick. This is actually going to be really hard to get into. In fact, I think this is a bad idea and we should pull back. I'd rather lose one reputation than have to do this all over again. Another one of those training complexes is dealt with. Excellent. Clear this out. Okay, so we're gonna have to fight over this somehow with no real reinforcements. But as long as I can get some airstrikes in place, maybe that's okay. For God's sake. Annoying little boogers. Airstrike them. Go boom! Okay, all I have to do is now control the victory points. Everything else doesn't matter. Get the victory points and we get it. Right? Oh, for God's sake. What now? Fine, I'll counter strike again. And I'll engage critics about women's rights. I stand by it. So what am I missing then? I, 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 need, to, I need to secure this. Hmm. Do we need intel? Is that part of the issue? Or do I actually need support? Because if I need support, we're in trouble. All right, let's let's uh, let's start spending our money on things that people are gonna actually like want. Growth, economic growth and stuff, it'll be fine. Oh gosh, there's a camp. Blow it up! Oh my gosh, that's not enough? Are thou kidding me? It was a German rocket strike! It's so powerful! Okay, we're getting intel. Oh, okay, that's part of the problem. There's a training complex and then some more arms caches we gotta go deal with. We're just now starting to see some uh, zones stabilize, and I think that's because we now control the victory points, and as long as we control them, you can see regional stability is skyrocketing. Finally! Wow! Okay. Uh, turns out 100,000 uh, reputation was not too much. Now, I probably could have gone faster if I had played this a little bit better, but that's a really unique idea for a scenario. That's one of the most unique ideas for a scenario that I've seen for a while, so that deserves a wild thumbs up from me. I don't know about this whole 345,000 point score thing, though. I'm pretty sure that's because I had 30,000 reputation, which, as far as we are aware, wasn't even possible and therefore breaks the calculations. But nonetheless, really cool idea. Very well implemented, challenging a completely militaristic-based scenario, but nonetheless, very fun for that. Thank you all for watching. Hope you enjoyed. If so, I would ask you to hit that like button, leave a comment, subscribe, hit the notify bell, and I will see you guys next time.